so the vast majority of skin cancers in basal cells and squamous cells are, is ultraviolet radiation. Um, so in, in the case of basal cell carcinoma, it's, accumula it's accumulation of exposure to ultraviolet radiation. So from, you know, from a, a child's birth and until say the 50, 60, 70. So it's that accumulation that causes uh, the vast majority of basal cell carcinomas. Squamous cell carcinoma and melanoma are a little bit different, whereas they're, they're more likely associated with a, uh, a history of intense sunburns. And so, um, it, whereas basal cells are, are accumulation of exposure, um, it's that intense sunburn that, that, that seems to trigger a mechanism uh, to increase um, a, a person's chances of developing squamous cell carcinoma and certainly melanoma as well. There are some rarer causes of skin cancers, especially squamous cell carcinoma. We can see uh, squamous cells in patients that, especially in the lip area, that are smokers, uh, that have a history of um, you know, smoking or tobacco exposure. Uh, and then certainly uh, we do see squamous cell carcinomas in areas of chronic wounds. So people that have um, uh, venous stasis or circulation problems uh, or history of, of ongoing trauma, um, later on down the road they can develop squamous cell carcinomas and there's a certain type called a mar marjolans ulcer that is associated with, with chronic wounds.